Turning our attention now to the ASX, here's Matt Burney and Bulls and Bears with the latest public company views and interviews. Welcome to Bulls and Bears, where we break down the latest ASX announcements from public companies that are doing interesting things. Today's Bulls and Bears is brought to you by AVZ Minerals, ASX code AVZ. I'm Matt Burney and I'm joined now by the Managing Director of AVZ Minerals, Nigel Ferguson. Hi, Nigel. Hi, Matt. AVZ Minerals is sitting on what is likely the largest undeveloped hard rock lithium deposit in in the world. The company's 60% owned Monono lithium tin project in the Democratic Republic of Congo is now on the home stretch as AVZ awaits its mining licence from the Congolese government. West Farmers focused all eyes on the hard rock lithium space a couple of years ago when it paid $776 million for 50% of Kidman Resources' 189 million tonne lithium deposit near Southern Cross that shows grades of 1.5%. Firstly, Nigel, just how big is your lithium resource now at Monono and what sort of grades is it showing? Just over 400 million tonnes at 1.65%. We've currently completed some drilling recently to upgrade some of those inferred resources up into indicated status. So we've got another 12 million tonnes or thereabouts coming up into indicated status. So we've increased our measured indicated and we'll be looking to increase our reserves in the near future, which is ongoing work. How are you going with the Congolese government? Is the project on their radar and how far away is a mining licence now, do you think? Uh, with a project of this size, Matt, as you can imagine and the relationships we have with government, we're in touch with them on a regular basis. We have three-pronged attack on that at the moment, talking about special economic zones, the mining licence itself and a collaboration agreement. We get mentioned most times in committee meetings at ministerial level, so it's very much on the radar and they've been very supportive so far. I see you're looking to optimise the company's existing definitive feasibility study. What are the opportunities to make the project economics stack up even better? Feed studies are being completed. We're just about to get those finalised into a document so that we can release them. Essentially, we're looking at better economics completely. We've got the previous DFS was done at 699, I think it was for SC6. I think you see spot prices around about 750 and uh, forward looking around about 720. So we're expecting better numbers there. Tin price has gone through the roof and a lot of people don't realise that Monono, the Roche Door deposit, is the third largest tin resource in the world. Massive low grade, but it's the third largest in the world. So we're expecting that. It's going to be beneficial to the bottom line on all of these aspects of the deposit. A couple of rapid fire questions. I know this might change with the optimised DFS, but right now, as it stands, how much money a year is this thing looking like making on average annually? The last study we did, the DFS in May last year, 380 million US was the average annualised earnings over the 20 year mine life. It generates huge money. Payback for the mine itself, the capex required was going to be around about 2.25 years. So it's a big money generator. And I see you're looking to get into the market and actually sell lithium by 2023. So good luck with that. Nigel Ferguson from AVZ Minerals, thanks for joining me today. And remember, Bulls and Bears is only here to give you information, not advice, which you should, of course, seek independently. I'm Matt Burney, and this is Bulls and Bears. For more public company CEO interviews, go to the money page at 6pr.com.au and click the public companies tab.